I'm so fucking sick and tired of your guys' excuses. One thing I've learned in this last year, just being broke as shit, is how to be resourceful. And I've learned that how to get it done fucking regardless. And that's the mindset you guys gotta have, is that you're gonna get it done regardless. A lot of you guys are just fucking pussies. You have never been through shit and it really shows. And the way it shows is when you're like, Finn, I don't have the time to work out. I don't have the time to get big and swole like you. Bro, in this last year, I, I've told you guys, the best time to do shit is usually the worst time. The best time to do shit is when it appears the worst. In this last year, man, I was so fucking broke. I was literally about to go homeless. I had to get resourceful. I had to start selling off fucking belongings, selling off clothes, selling off birthday gifts. At that same time is when I started my YouTube channel. At that same time is when I decided I was gonna tackle and fix my fucking lower back injury. The same time I was broke, I said, I'm gonna fix this lower back injury. I'm gonna get in the best fucking shape of my life. And I'm gonna start a successful YouTube channel and start my fucking entrepreneurial journey here. Not when I had money saved up. Not when I was coming out of college with 15 grand in fucking cash. No, when I was down bad, broke as fuck, and just getting back on the fucking pill habits is when I said, I'm gonna make this shit work now. Because the worst time is the best time. When you are at your fucking lowest, that is where appreciation for life is, 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 is fucking earned. That's where it's learned and earned. Bro, if I would have fell into that fucking weak ass mindset that you guys have, most guys would have been at that point in their life. If you guys were out, was at where I was a year ago, you'd have been like, I can't focus on my fitness now. Fuck, I got to deal with this back injury. You know, I, I, it is what it is with the back. I'm just going to have bad lower back pain for the rest of my life. But I got to focus on getting money now. I didn't say that. I said, I'm going to do everything right now because I'm sick of this shit. You have to be so fucking sick of this shit. You have to be so fucking sick of your life. It has to be more painful for you to stay where you are now than it is to change in order for you to actually change. And that was the case for me. I was so fucking fed up with my lower back pain after going to the fucking, after going through multiple bouts of physical therapy, going to the chiropractor, getting multiple x-rays, MRIs, taking medicines, getting shots. I was so fucking fed up with it. I was so fucking fed up with working a desk job. I was so fucking sick of taking shit from other people. I was so fucking fed up of letting other people dictate my actions. And that's why I started a YouTube. Because I just wanted to fucking express myself. I started everything at once. If I'd have had the mindset that most of you guys had, I, at that point, I would have just focused on getting money. But no, I said, I'm going to build up my personal training business, started working 60 plus hour weeks because I needed the fucking money. And I said, I'm going to get in the best shape of my life. And I said, I'm going to fix my back injury. And I said, I'm going to fix my mental health. And I said, I'm going to fucking start a YouTube. And I did all that shit at once. But most of you guys would have been in that situation and you would have said, I don't have the time to work out because I got to make money now. 
I didn't accept that. The mindset you guys got to have is that you got to get this shit done regardless. You got to have some fucking dog in you. The problem is you guys sleep fucking four or five hours. You're like, well, I can't get a workout now because it's not optimal for me to go to the gym on this much sleep. Shut your dumb ass up, bitch. Man, I was sleeping like four or five hours. I'm like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm not eating right. Man, I'm eating fucking ramen. I don't give a fuck that I'm eating ramen. I'm going to get fucking jacked because I'm going to overwork this. Oh, you're going to overtrain? Fuck overtraining. That's why you see, that's why you used to see me come on here and I said, overtraining is not fucking real. Go back to some of my older videos, like the first couple of videos on this channel. I was like, overtraining is not fucking real. Because I just had the mindset of I'm going to get this shit done regardless and nothing can fucking stop me. And that's the fucking mindset you got to have. That's the fucking mindset you guys got to have. You can't be waiting for that fucking perfect opportunity. You have to say, I'm going to fucking make it work with what I have now. I don't give a fuck what any doctor says. I don't give a fuck what my parents say. I don't give a fuck what any so-called expert says. They can fucking shove it right up their fat ass. That's the fucking mindset I had. I don't give a fuck what these doctors say. I don't give a fuck what these physical therapists say. I'm going to make this shit work right now. I don't give a fuck what my parents say that I'm going to fail and that this is not going to work out for me, that I don't have it in me. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck what my friends say that I'm taking a risk doing this shit. Fuck them. Because I'm fucking unbreakable. Because this shit right here is nothing. I've been through 10 times worse than this. I've been on the fucking brink of insanity. I've been on the brink of losing my fucking life. So what the fuck is this right here? It's nothing. I'm going to outwork this shit. I don't give a fuck what the science says. I don't give a fuck what the literature says. I'm going to do a thousand fucking push-ups a day and grow and I'm going to recover from that shit. And nobody can tell me shit otherwise. You fucking nerds out there. Like, well, that doesn't work. You know, fucking... That's not gonna work. I'm not gonna build muscle on five hours of sleep. And I'm broke, fam. The fucking defeatist mindset. You weak little bitch. You weak little fucking bitch. I think most of us would be better off if we didn't have the fucking internet. And we didn't have all this information. Because all that information is doing is paralyzing you. And making you weak little fucks that never take action and that just always take in all this information and you fucking complain on the internet about this person's got it better than you rather than just trying to figure out a fucking way to make this shit work. I've decided, man, I'm just going to make this shit work. I've told you guys, I don't give a fuck. This shit is going to work. This, this business, this YouTube are going to work out one way or the fucking other. It's going to happen. I don't know how the fuck it's going to happen, but I'm just going to keep putting in the fucking work. Most people would look at my fucking bank account right now and freak the fuck out. But I got faith in something greater than myself that it's going to work out. I'm looking at the fucking numbers. I'm like, man, how am I going to work? How am I going to make this work? Make working this shitty minimum wage job. And I'm like, shit, how am I going to make it work and still get my eight hours? Fuck my eight hours. If I got to sacrifice, I got to sacrifice. 
but I'm going to fucking make this shit work. I got faith in something greater than myself. That's the mindset you guys got to have. You're looking at shit too logically. We're too fucking logical. I don't think you guys realize what you are fucking capable of. What your body is capable of. What your mind is capable of. So I can't stand this shit. Motherfuckers look at my physique and are like, how did you do that in a year, fan? I fucking, I could never do that. You must have great genetics. No. No. I was in the gym all fucking day. I was training people all fucking day. I wasn't sleeping great. I was getting four or five hours of sleep because I, was, I wasn't done with my shift, my personal training shift, until eight at fucking night. And then I was back up at 4.30 in the morning to get at the gym by 6. And when you get off, I, I still got to stretch. I still got to eat. I got to get some time for that food to digest. Then I got to edit my YouTube videos, man. I was getting like four or five hours of sleep. And yet you see me in a year have one of the craziest fucking transformations. In this last year, I've developed so much more physically than I have in the last eight Because I, I, I didn't accept the fucking limitations. And when you don't accept limitations, you can achieve so much more than seems realistic. You can't have a fucking realistic mindset. Fuck being realistic. You got to be unrealistic. You got to have the, the mindset of I'm going to put in so much work. People are going to call me fucking stupid. People are going to say I'm going to burn myself out. People were telling me, Finn, don't, don't go too hard. You're going to burn yourself. Fuck burning myself out. I don't burn out. I can keep doing this shit forever. I could be broke forever. I'm going to keep putting in the fucking work. Stop being realistic. Stop being logical. Stop looking and accepting these limitations. If you guys are working a busy shift, don't just chalk it up as, oh, I'm too tired to work out after my shift. Well, it doesn't work out because then I got school and fuck all that bullshit, man. Find a way to make this shit work. Start applying the fucking shit you learn. Stop taking in all this information and searching for what's optimal. Fuck optimal. Fucking just get shit done regardless. Because I guarantee you, if you just work harder than everybody else and you do it for a long enough period of time, and you just keep your mental state right throughout it, I guarantee you will fucking come out on top. I guarantee it. That's the mindset I have with my life right now. If I just keep at this shit for long enough, I'm not the smartest motherfucker. I'm not the motherfucker with the best genetics. I'm not the most talented fucking speaker. I'm just going to keep coming on here and spitting whatever is on the top of my fucking head. And I'm going to grow with it. I'm going to get better at it. And the more I do it, the better I get at it. That's it. That's it. Just work hard. Work harder than everybody else. Have fucking faith. Stop bitching and complaining and stop telling me that I could never have your physique, Finn. Fuck that shit. Because nobody would have ever told me that when I had that fucking defeatist, weak little bitch mindset that you guys have. I, w I, w I was telling myself the same bullshit you guys are telling yourself. 
Once I just refused to accept the limitations is when I started to actually see progress. I was coming into the gym four or five hours of sleep feeling like dog shit on fucking ramen noodles. But I was just killing the workouts. If I'd ac accepted the limitation, I would have been like, oh, well, I shouldn't work out today because I didn't sleep correctly and therefore I'm not going to recover. Your body will fucking adapt. Your mind will adapt. Sometimes you're capable of so much more than you believe you are. But the problem is these self-imposed limitations and beliefs. And we got to let that shit go, fellas. That's the message for today.